What is a DVD dash RW? Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here, and we'll talk a little bit about the DVD dash RW, what it is and how it affects our lives. Well, first of all, let's break down the definition. I'm going to assume you know nothing. We're going to start from the ground floor. A DVD. We are familiar with these shiny discs, not CDs or compact discs, but DVDs, digital video discs, or more appropriately, interchangeably, digital versatile discs. And you'll find that the DVD-RW is extremely versatile. Now, the dash um, is important, and we do say that because there is dash or minus, or it could be DVD plus RW. One we're dealing with is a dash or minus RW. RW is standing for rewritable. And it's rewritable about a thousand times before it's recommended to be replaced. Um, it's great for storing volatile, me volatile memory, easy for you to say, <laughs> which is great for storing backup of discs and pictures. Remember, in the world today, we have so much digitally, and the rule for it, at least from your digital lifestyle expert, is three, triple redundancy, primary, primary backup, and an off-site duplication somewhere with your mother, your grandfather, or a safe deposit box. Great way to keep your volatile files. Now, because it's an RW uh, in rewritable disks up to a thousand times, it becomes very stable. Best guess is it has about a 30 year minimum uh, longevity to it. This was created by Pioneer in 1999 as sort of a replacement for the CD RW, something with a little bit more memory. 4.7 gigs, not bad, especially for the price. You can pay as little as just a few pennies for the disc and as much as about 50 to 75 cents. Go ahead and, you know, look to find your best deal. It becomes a lot less expensive than flash drives, which can be as much as uh, $30 per 4 gigs, but it all depends when you're listening to this because by tomorrow the price could drop. So it becomes a great way to store discs. Um, it's just yet another competing format. You can have, like I say, the DVD RW that we're talking about here, the Dash RW, the DVD Plus RW, and then the DVD ROM drives. Now, how they work is pretty simple. You've got um, a material inside here, and when the laser hits it, it either becomes either in its crystalline state or its anamorph state. And what that basically means is, if you're not familiar with the DVD, it reads and writes very similarly to an old record player. I know you, you can't believe that, but digital formatting is based in ones and zeros, which is either a switch on or off. So when it goes to these different phases, it's either moving up for on or down for off, and then the lasers can reset themselves that way. So a little bit of information about DVD minus RW. From me, Rokaz, minus your digital lifestyle expert. We'll stream you later.